David, this is Dave Goyne. I'm in Guatemala thinking about all the good times we had in Monterey. Good times together. Jogging on the beach, having squid down at the wharf, talking about our cases, talking about anything we wanted to talk about. Good times that remind me why you're still my best friend, David. So Esther and I want to wish you a happy, merry 80th birthday, and God bless you, David. And God bless his birthday party. We love you, David. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi, David. This is Beverly and, of course, Gary. I know it looks like we're in Hawaii to wish you a happy birthday, but it's actually um, our home in Escondido. So excited to celebrate with you via video. Um, I, what I wanted to say was that I know how much you delight in your family and um, your local family and your extended family and I look forward to being with you and everybody, Gail and the whole gang. When we are maybe visiting you or you're coming down here. So happy, happy birthday. And Gary wants to say... Happy birthday. You're only 80. Once. <laughs> and it's a big deal. So uh, happy birthday. Have a great day. And have a great rest of the year. It's on. Happy birthday, David. Hope you're enjoying your health and you're happy. And uh, with all your kids and grandkids uh, among you, you, you don't know how lucky you are to have them so close. Um, anyway, Mary and I finally recall our trips to Ashland together and our trip to the Amalfi Coast. Those truly were great times. And I still have memories of our times together as public defenders particularly those times when we would congregate in Lawrence's office and um, we would all listen in amazement to your rather unique views about world events and politics and all that and, um, and your admonitions to younger lawyers to uh, don't talk about 14601s in here and also to your incredibly wise advice uh, to uh, just go to next case and not uh, get too high about our occasional victories or too low about our many defeats. Uh, so anyway, that truly really was uh, pretty good leveling advice for all of us. So anyway, enjoy your birthday. We hope to get up to see you in the next couple of years. Have a good time. Happy birthday, Dave. Hey, David, this is Diane. And this is Irina. And Joe. We wanted to wish you a happy birthday. And I have a special message for you. Here I go. You are old, dear David, the young woman said, and your hair has become very white. And yet you ins incessantly stand on your head. Do you think at your age it is right? In my youth, David replied to his friend, I fear it might injure the brain. But now that I'm perfectly sure I have none, why I do it again and again? Happy, Happy birthday, David! Happy birthday, Saba! I'm so excited to celebrate your big 80th birthday with you. Um, I just want to thank you for always driving me to track practice. Some good memories we've had together are me swinging on your trapeze when I was little in Carmel Valley and bup bup bupping across the room. I love you so much. Happy birthday. Hi, David. This is John Masiosi. Hi, David. Naomi Masiosi. And uh, 
I was going to try to find some uh, good lawyer jokes to kind of lighten the mood, but um, although there are a lot of them out there, they don't really resonate for public defenders. So um, I'm going to let that go and just uh, wish you uh, all the very best uh, uh, on your birthday and uh, very happy to think of you celebrating with your family. And all the best to you. Okay, David. We usually tend to talk about sports, so I'll go in that direction. Um, looks like we're heading towards the eighth inning, or you are. It's getting late in the game, uh, but not too late to make a comeback. Uh, at this point, I think you'd be playing the role of the um, designated hitter. Uh, which is not too hard. You just need to get up when they call your number and do your best. Anyway, I hope you have a great time down the coast and wishing you a very happy birthday and hope we can celebrate with you during the year. Dave, Jim and Michael Richmond wishing you happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. So great to see you a few days ago at the Seder. Have a really happy birthday and a great time with your family. Birthday, birthday, happy birthday, David. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Hi, Dave. This is your cousin. Janet's calling you to wish you a very happy 80th birthday. I have a lot of memories of you, even though we didn't grow up together. I do remember that uh, you and Paul and Jeannie, when we were kids living in Garbage Bay Manor, used to tease me all the time. But in spite of all that, I do remember that you guys really cared about me and took care of me when I was little. And I know we've always been close all our lives, even though we spent so much time apart. I want to wish you a very wonderful birthday, and I hope that you have a great, great year. I wish you the best. Love to you always and your family. And uh, happy birthday, your cousin Janet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you and many more. From the mountains of Carmel Valley, with love. Bye. Hi, Saba. Happy birthday. You know, over the years, we've had some really good times together. And I think some of my favorite memories have been from, well, one one of my favorites was when I went to go visit you and Softa in your Carmel Valley house one summer when I was in elementary school. And we would sit and by this door and watch the fountain and watch the birds and the deer come drink from it. And you would always name them. You'd be like, that one's Schmendrick and that one's Hendrick and that one's Yankala or whatever. And I just thought that was the funniest thing ever. And also, of course, all the little traditions that we would do, like the pumpernickel pretzels and going bup, bup, bup with the vitamins. And, you know, when the friend had a friend in Vince song, that was always my favorite. And also, you know, just wanted to say, because I don't really have a grandfather on my dad's side, you've done such a good job doing double the grandfatherly duties. And I hope we can keep making fun memories together. And I love you so much. Happy birthday. Mwah. Happy birthday, David. Sending greetings from Seattle, from me and Rick and Rachel, Justin and Jess and baby Simon. We all love you and wish you a very happy birthday. And uh, going back in time, we remember Rick and my first visit to you and Gail in Carmel and what a wonderful, warm time we had all together. And then again, just recently with you and your children and grandchildren visiting with you in Portland. All of those memories we hold dear and loved seeing you and look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a wonderful birthday. Hi, David. Wendy Leveson here as you as you know, and you should know because you were the first person I met in America along with Ivan. We, I've known you that long and it's been terrific. You've added so much to our lives 
We love you very much and wishing you a very happy 80th birthday. Hi, David. Ivan Levison. Happy birthday. Happy 80th birthday. You made it. Not everybody can say that. Anyway, wishing you the very best. So proud to have been your best man at Gail in your wedding, to travel to Mexico with you, and as Wendy said, going to a party with you on Dwight Way, where I met Wendy. Anyway, <laughs> have a great birthday. We love you. Happy Bye -bye. birthday. Hey, David. Your daughter, your my daughter-in-law suggested a video for you for your birthday, and so I figured, being me, it had to be a political video. So I want to tell you, you are the only person I ever met who knows this guy, who hung out with this guy. And I was thinking of him, and I was thinking of you, and I realized that he was such a revolutionary that he actually got thrown out by the Panthers for being, you know, too far to the left and too far into violence. And so he came back to the United States having fled the country and uh, became a fundamentalist Christian. <laughs> then he became a Mormon. And then he became a Republican in the 1980s. Then he became a drug addict and dropped dead at the age of 62. And so here we have this wild, wonderful revolutionary, and then we've got you, who for most of your adult life represented the poor and the oppressed and tried to keep them from going to prison. So congratulations on having done all that and remaining going. You might not be doing that anymore, but you're here and you're strong and you're, you're still you. And that's a really good thing. So happy birthday. Hi, David. Poppy and I wish you the happiest birthday ever. Hope you're doing something very special to celebrate. All good wishes. Have a happy one. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Saba. Um, I wanted to say that I love you and I miss you at college. Um, and today I'm thinking about a lot of memories together of goofing around um, when I was younger with you and my sisters. Um, and how you would joke us with your vitamins and like pretend to give them to us, but then be like, ah. Uh. Hey Dave, it's Charles Murphy. Happy birthday. You finally made it to the 80 Club. That's quite an accomplishment and a milestone. Hope you have a great day. I remember all those times uh, that we had uh, in our lunch group which has kind of been suspended because of COVID. But someday you're going to make it down and uh, we'll have some more laughs, all right? And uh, one of the memories I remember is when we both got named in Nancy Keo's lawsuit as laughing at Art Kaufman's joke, but we were not indicted. Uh, so I want to thank you for all the help you gave me when I was in the public defender's office. And I hope... Everything turns out great for you. A wonderful day. Congratulations on your 80th. Hi, Dave. Happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday. Great to be 80. Hope you're having lots of fun with the family, the grandkids, the kids. Uh, we do miss you here. We miss the videos. Hopefully we get on pretty soon. But have a great, great time with everybody. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you can visit sometime. Nice celebration. Happy 80th. Bye, Dave. Bye. Hi, David. Hi, Congratulations. David. It's Itamar and Bryn from Cancun, Mexico. Just stopping to wish you a very happy birthday and so glad that we could participate in this birthday wish for you. Wishing you well, all good things, happiness, mm -hmm. health, and um, lots of wonder yeah, for the coming it. year for you. Yeah, to, to. Bye. 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 Well, I'm Dave. I just want you to know that we miss you, but we hope that you have a happy life where you are now. Hi, it's Rosemarie and Dave, we miss you and Gail. Wish you were still here, but we know you're happy where you are. And wow, happy birthday. It's a big one. <laughs> right. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi Dave, John Dunn. I have a mishmash of poetry here for you as a birthday card. 80 years, few tears, hairy ears, 
Yesteryears, no fears, rabbit ears, defender years, celebration beers, respect from peers. David, play your funky role, share your sharp wit and lots of soul. About yourself, don't change a thing till the fat lady do sing. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi, David. You get double thanks from me. First, for raising Leia, my wife and partner of literally half my life. And second, for being a father to me. Because as you know, I didn't have one until I met you. And so for half my life, I've looked to you to fulfill that role. And you've done a wonderful job. And I've always appreciated you being there for me. In the Talmud, in Kiddushin 29a, there's a discussion of the obligations and the responsibilities of a father. And there's the kind of laundry list of things that a father is supposed to do, including teaching their kids a trade and teaching them to be good people, the kind of things that you'd expect of a parent. And then, as you probably know, there's this strange addition at the end of the list, which is, and you got to teach your kids to swim, which seems both kind of petty and out of place with the rest of the responsibilities of being a father. And the Talmud, in its discussion, it pairs each of the obligations of how to be a good father with a different biblical verse. And they all kind of make sense, what you'd expect. Teach them Torah because you're supposed to meditate on the Torah night and day, etc. But when it comes to teach them swimming, it pairs that obligation with a verse from Dvarim, from Deuteronomy, that says you should choose life which is both dramatic and kind of weird. What does swimming have to do with choosing life? And what does it mean, the idea of choosing life, something that comes inherently and naturally to us, right? We're alive, we breathe. Even when we don't want to breathe, we breathe. It's instinctive. And I think one way of looking at that is that swimming, unlike any other activity that might save your life, is not intuitive. It is, in fact, counterintuitive, right? The Torah doesn't say... If a bear is chasing you, run, or if, uh, you know, if the fire is hot, move away from it, because those are instinctive. But a human in water who doesn't know how to swim will try to do the tricks that we know to survive from land, and you'll drown. You'll thrash around, you'll try to run, you'll try to whatever, you, you won't hold your breath. You won't take a gentle approach that requires the knowledge of how fluids work, how wave motion works, how buoyancy works. And that requires a level of intellect, of understanding and learning about the environment that you're in and how you can learn a new set of behaviors that will allow you to choose life, to affirmatively do things that are counterintuitive and they require curiosity and knowledge and intellect and learning. And those are, in my eyes, your greatest attributes, the things that I've most appreciated about you and most enjoyed and and most enjoyed sharing your tremendous intellect your curiosity your interest in the world around you and not only your interest but your ability to constantly learn about it and to master it and to share the ideas and the things that you're learning with me and with others in a way that makes everyone in the room smarter that makes everyone in the room more adept at how to navigate how to swim through this complicated world so I want to thank you for that and really just show my appreciation for so many times that we've had together. But particularly, I remember after Eliel was born, you and I got into this really heavy conversation in the little tiny funky kitchenette, I guess you would call it, of the garage that Leah and I were living in in Berkeley. And we were talking about Hashem and God and spirituality and this life and the world to come. And we just had this like really, really deep conversation. And the next thing I knew it was like four in the morning. And I just felt such a, a magic about this new child that I had and this new family and this new father figure that I had. And it set the tone for like the next 20 years of my life of being able to have that um, curious and intellectual relationship with you and uh, a house and a family of learning. So thank you for all of that. And I look forward to many more such conversations. Hi, Dave and Gail. It's Eileen and Bill wishing Dave a very happy birthday. We're standing down here in the meadow in the loop and wish you were here, but we know you're 
in a better place there with your family. So anyway, happy birthday, Dave. 80 is, is such a milestone. We congratulate you. Happy 80th, Dave. We're right behind you, so uh, <laughs> we're waiting for our big celebration. But uh, one thing I do is I, I miss seeing you walking down the hill every day down to the village. But uh, that's, uh, that's the way it goes. You're there, we're here. And that was such an inspiration to us to always see you walking the hill. So we, we're trying to follow in your footsteps. Okay, happy birthday. Hello, David. This is Susan. And Bruce Nebin. And we wanted to wish you a very, very, very happy 80th birthday. We're thinking about you. You are one of our favorite people. Uh, we miss you so much. But uh, luckily, we still get to see you uh, once a month in our video Havara. But uh, we hope you have a great birthday and a great year. We're thinking of you and have a great celebration. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy 80th birthday, Dave. We celebrate and toast to you. Sending, Sending birthday, birthday hugs filled, filled with, with love. love. Hi, um, I'm Judith Barish. I'm your cousin. I'm not sure exactly what kind of cousin or how many times removed, but um, I want to join the rest of your family and friends in wishing you a happy birthday. 80 years old, that is something to feel proud of. Congratulations, many happy returns of the day. I hope that your next trip around the sun is a great one. And maybe one of these years, I'll actually get to meet you. Bye. Hi, Dad. Happy 80th birthday. Um, we just want to uh, send you a little message. And uh, I was just trying to think about the qualities that I think you have taught me and left with me. Um, throughout my life up until now as I'm turning 40 and th they are um, your curiosity for all things just how you're always interested in whatever new is happening or new thing there is to learn and then also your independence and just um, being yourself and not really um, being afraid to express yourself in, in your own unique way and not being uh not really caring what whether that's um, you know the the popular way or the the way that other people do it, but it's unique to you and and perfect in that way. So um, you know it's it's uh, it's really a joy to have taken those lessons and incorporated them into my own life. And Kelly and I are really just happy to wish you a wonderful 80th birthday and. Send our love to you. Happy birthday, David. We love you. Happy 80th birthday, David. A toast to you. 80 is a big one. It's wonderful. This is Andriana. I haven't seen you forever, but wishing you the very best. Hope your birthday is absolutely amazing and you're with family and friends. Wishing you all the best. Happy birthday from Scott, Henry, Dad, Gus, Sherry, and Diana. You want to say anything else? Happy 80th. Yeah, sorry we couldn't be there with you. But we will sometime. <laughs> Enjoy. We love you. Bye. Hi hey Dave, Michelle Wooden here. Just wanted to wish you a very, very happy 80th birthday. I hope you enjoy this day and many years to come. Much love to you. Well, David, happy birthday. When we were kids in our early 20s or, or younger, you were five years younger, you were inside the House of American Activities Committee and I was outside. We didn't, neither of us knew each other. I don't know if you got arrested, I didn't. But it was, but we found it, we, we finally met some 20, 25 years later. And since then, it's just been a pleasure to know you, to know I can, we can be counted upon for you to take an opposite and cogent view on every argument. And it's been great to have you and Gail as such wonderful friends. Happy birthday. Hi, Dad. Happy 80th birthday. 
um, to a very vibrant and intellectually um, full of life um, hiker and a student of the world and intellectual. We really appreciate you. The whole family does and I know all your friends do. It's amazing milestone to be 80 and to have achieved so much. And I want to say thank you so much for giving me the lifelong love I have of the outdoors and hiking. I, you encourage me and accompany me from a young age, you know, on long hikes and walks through the canyon on the, your, the area, to explore the area that we lived in, the area around us that you and I love so much. Um, when I was two, uh, barely walking really. I mean, we would, you would take me to the village. We would walk all the way there and sort of have an adventure most weekends and then you know my whole life you, you you've taken me places as i was growing up um beauty of the sierra shared with me all the beautiful bounty of california and um i've just loved also hearing your stories over the years your public defender stories and um so interesting just um your challenging of authority i really appreciate your your um take on the world and your stick it to the man sort of attitude and you know in a good way like fighting the good fight and um your intellectualism always researching things and reading about things and learning about the world and i really appreciate all of our late night discussions animated discussions about the world and also your counseling sessions for me especially through middle school and some of high school just as i was becoming an adult and figuring things out you really helped set me straight and counsel me and gave me perspective and we're very patient. And so I'm just excited that you're here and that we're at this space at this stage and that you're just really great with family and how much you appreciate, you know, your grandkids and just being part of a family. And so we really appreciate you and we can't wait to have more adventures together and more discussions and looking forward to everything. Happy 80th birthday. Hi, David. It's Judy and Mark from Colorado, and we want to wish you a big happy birthday. Have a great day. Erin Winterholm. Hey, Dave. Happy birthday. You know, you're very trendy, apparently, because everybody's turning 80. I think uh, Fred Harrow just turned 80. Judge Phillips just turned 80. My mom's about to turn 80. So it seems like 80 is the new 20. So you're cool, man. So I hope you're doing awesome. I'm here in our new fancy office. Um, you'll have to come by and see it someday. You're not gonna believe it. And look what I found. I still have it. Did you know today is Public Defender Day? So today is the 21st and your birthday is tomorrow. So it's Public Defender today, uh, Day today and we had a baked potato party and Kelvin got a 30 year pin and Eliseo and Sergio each got their 20 year pin. And believe it or not, I've been here for almost 24 years. I'm the oldest hanging around Public Defender so, remember when I was just the baby? Anyway, I miss you. I occasionally hear from Coleman. He asks about folks. Um, I'll tell him it's your birthday. Anyways, have a great one. This is Christine Williams. Hey Dave, Kim and I are both wishing you a very, very happy birthday. Turning 80, what a significant number. That's awesome. I hope it doesn't make you feel really old because 80 is only nine in Scrabble. Have a blessed day. Happy birthday. To you, David. Okay, thanks, Mom. Uh, that's Helen Siegel. Who's what? <laughs> that's Helen Siegel who's now approaching her 103rd birthday. Okay, David, happy birthday. Bye. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> okay, okay, I still love that. Hi, David. This is David and Andrea Siegel, your cousins. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday. And I just want to let you know that you made me a better basketball player uh, because we played when you were a lot, we were both a lot younger at my house on 15 Cambridge Road in East Rockaway. Uh, you taught me some good moves that I, <laughs> that I kept for the rest of my life. So thanks for that. <laughs> Hope to see you one of these days soon. Sorry we live so far away. Love to everybody. Yep. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Gail Barris, David's wife. Happy birthday, David. Wishing you lots of happiness and good health in the coming year and forever after. Thank you so much for our, our loving partnership of 51 years. From our first date, 53 years ago, I knew I had found a soulmate. Thanks for your love, your loyalty, your support, your friendship, and your flexibility. Moving to Portland was one of the biggest challenges of our lives. Living too close to our family has really made it all worthwhile. And I don't think I could have gotten through the pandemic without you. It would have been impossible. I love you forever.